Toronto where you don't have any mountains. So this view is like all new to us. We are in Alberta, Calgary to be exact, in Banff right now, and we're driving all the way to British Columbia because we have a stay there that's gonna be so, so, so pretty. It's called Emerald Lake Lodge. And essentially it's overlooking the lake and you have your tree view and your mountain view in the background and we have a balcony to see all of that. So I can't wait to show you guys what that looks like. But right now, Babe is the designated driver and our view is so nice. It's a little vibe, I ain't gonna lie. It's a little right. vibe right now. Men's are driving and I'm just taking in the view. It's like beautiful when you get to see the different side of where you live. It's just making you feel like calm. See, if we had this view in Toronto, he wouldn't mind driving all the time. I would but... still mind driving all the time. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. This is far. This is like an hour in 35 minutes to get to our destination. So it's actually not a hotel, it's more of like a lodge. I've always wanted to do like a chalet stay and do like a ski in, ski out type of vibe. So because we're still in Canada, obviously so many things are the same, but I spotted one difference already. So at Tim Hortons, when we went to go get a drink, I got myself a medium French vanilla and I realized that the, the lid is different. This is more of like a shiny plastic. Back home, it's like, what, how would you explain it? It's not as shiny. I don't even know. It's like, I don't even know what it is anymore. It looks cheap back home. <laughs> Listen, we out here with the expensive cups, the lids, you know what I'm saying? We need to get this back home. What are we waiting on? Did you notice any differences yet? Besides the mountains and everything? The roads. It's okay. actually super clear. There's like maybe one or two cars on the road. Normally, right. hella cars on the road. Like, where is everybody? <laughs> So it's been like this, which is not, I like this. It's not as congested, you can just drive. It actually makes sense to me that no one's on the road because I think looking up information on Banff itself coming here, I remember they said like, there's only 10,000 residents in Banff. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it was like, you can only live in Banff if you work here or go to school here. Otherwise, you gotta get out. <laughs> so they're very sense. strict. Makes sense. Makes yeah. Sense. Listen, man, if you out here, man, holla at us, man. Let us know what it is, what it is. I want to visit the hot springs because... I'm guessing it's hot. <laughs> hot springs. It's like the natural like phenomenon hot, where hot you tub. have hot water. Yeah, but naturally. It's like a natural hot tub. So, okay. Do you go in the water or something? Yeah. You go in the water? Yeah, and usually it's packed with a whole bunch of people because they just find it so cool and they're just sitting in there. But there must be a lot of bodily fluids and things in there that you don't want to catch, but yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I know. Just came across a couple signs that mentioned Avalanche Watch and then Reef's ears started popping. Yeah. And now that they're the cars in front of us are going slow because apparently we're coming up on this area that's like dangerous. So we're just trying to be as careful as possible. And then here you can see like frozen icicles. Yeah. yeah, like frozen waterfalls almost. They have larger ones, but these are just the smaller ones. The clouds is crazy. It's like the altitude here is higher than where we were before. Yeah. And they literally said that, be careful of the change. So yeah, they said there's like sudden weather changes. You know when you go in an airplane and they're about to pop? Yeah. But they already released, the pressure already released now. But my head feels a little bit like it's starting to hurt a little bit. It's like pressure. Yeah. So we're about to come across this road called, called Emerald Lake Road and I'm excited to see it because it's just like a road lined with trees on either side and it's gonna look really really pretty. Hopefully the trees are full of snow which I think they will be because right now all I'm seeing is snow. I missed our turn it was such a small little peeny little road. Yeah so now we're on this road thankfully and we're headed to the lodge. We're about to pull in and I'm so excited! Emerald Lake Lodge. Overnight guest parking. <laughs> wow. Yeah, imagine being here at Christmas time, guys. This is so insanely beautiful. All right, so this sign says, welcome to Emerald Lake Lodge. Please dial zero and the front desk will dispatch a bellman to transfer you and your luggage to the lodge. 
huh what's that mean <laughs> I think that that means that we have to park over here and then someone's gonna take us to our lodge which would mean that our car is far away right that doesn't make sense then we gotta walk all the way over here <laughs> well from the lodge people would be there Bellman's would be there to drop us off back to the car if we need it Picked up. Getting picked up. We're going to our lodge. <laughs> and now I'm getting a little bit excited. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now he's excited. Before he was worried. He thought he was stuck somewhere in the mountains. <laughs> it's a vibe. Yeah. It's nothing but a vibe. So what do they say they have here that's exciting for you, babe? The hot tub? How are you doing? Everything. They got everything inside. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Ooh. All right, I'm going back here, y'all. Okay. Hey, one of our amazing maintenance guys. <laughs> there goes the luggage. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so you know we have 24 hour shuttle and bell service. So if at any point you want to come back down to the parking for any reason, while you decide to require assistance getting yourself and your luggage to and from the rooms, just give reception a holler. They'll call the relative person on the radio. Because it's closed, they literally just a little foyer that turned into a concierge desk. Walking to our room right now while the lady has the rest of our luggage because we always bring too much for no good reason. But it's beautiful, guys. That's the lake right over there past these three trees. It's frozen right now. Reef was asking if he walks on the lake if he'll fall through and the girl was like, maybe. But it's up to your discretion. We're like, what? <laughs> Listen, we can't afford that right now. We can't be falling through no ice water. We would not survive it. All right, we are cabin 24. This is looking like it's us. Watch y'all. Kristen's bringing up her luggage. Hercules! One of two and a half. You know she can't go nowhere without all her luggage. I know. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> There's one more we gotta get. Oh. One more. Okay. And we're gonna give y'all a little quick little room tour. Mm -hmm. We have a little problem. Um, there's no Wi-Fi here. Reef just called down to the front desk asking them what the password was because we couldn't find where to connect and how to connect. I said no Wi-Fi. We gotta go all the way to the clubhouse to chillax and get Wi-Fi there. Bro, what? How do you not have Wi-Fi? Bro? Oh God. Bro, how much we spent all this money for no, not even no internet? Damn. Like how are we supposed to upload this video for you guys? You guys are not gonna see this video for a minute. <laughs> I think they want us to feel like it's an actual escape <laughs> from like reality, but this is crazy. I can't do it. Say bye-bye to the phones. No service. So, first thing on the list, photos. You don't need Wi-Fi for that, right, babe? <laughs> so photos, guys, photos, photos. So guys, basically we are here in a cabin right now in Alberta. And I guess the whole resort has no Wi-Fi except for one spot, and that is in the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. Now we're nowhere near the clubhouse, so today we're gonna be doing 24 hours with no internet. That's gonna be crazy because I feel like the entire world runs off of internet. When you don't have it, you feel lost. Like Reef is sitting down here with like his little puppy eyes. Like, like murping around, like what is he supposed to do? Well, hey, because there's we business, get we, have, we have business, right? So the only reason why I'm like that is because we have a bunch of videos that we need to get out to you guys. I can't upload the videos, I can't do nothing. So okay, yeah, imagine at the end of the day, the, go ahead. Imagine if it was the end of the world. Then I wouldn't care about that, babe. The world's about to end. Why would I need to okay, worry? so think it's the end of the world right now. And all you have is me and you. Yeah. End of you. Yeah. What you gonna do? I mean, if we're being honest, that's not really a great view. Wow. 
Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see what I did there? That was so funny. But anyways, so this is where we are right now. This is the view from our room. As you can see out here. It's very cloudy right now, so you can't really see the mountains, but it's supposed to be a nice mountain view. And right in front of us where you see all this snow is a lake that goes all around. But you're not gonna see that right now because of snow. I was just thinking to myself that, you know, with no Wi-Fi, we could just lay in the bed, watch a movie, but there's no TV. Yeah, so we got no <laughs> Wi-Fi and we got no TV, but we got a fire, we got a firewood here. But I'm thinking if you like this fire, then the room is gonna smell like smoke. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start like coughing and... Is that why you're coughing? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking because I like randomly started getting this cough. Like literally, I just got this cough out of nowhere, y'all. Like, <clears throat> like my throat. <clears throat> like when you walk in the room, mm -hmm. it does smell a little bit smoky and like different. We gonna die. I wonder what this door leads to. It's another, it's another door. Where does it go? There's just another door there. So maybe it's connected to somebody else's cabin. Oh, let's go spy on them. <coughs> for 24 hours. Huh? What do you think? I guess so. So this is our little bathroom here, as you guys can see. This is our tub. It's where we'll be taking a shower. I guess. They did. <laughs> you sound so sad. I guess, I guess they didn't want to put a new one there, I guess. What? What is that? That's what I don't know. I guess that's where it's supposed to hold the soap. Okay. And it's gone. Okay. So it's giving cabin vibes. Cabin in the woods. Oh my god, cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods. Yeah, it's literally a cabin in the woods. So I'm going to get my stuff on and then we're going to go take some pictures of Kristen and see what else the day has for us now guys yes this is all the lights that are in this cabin as you guys can see we got we got one light right there and one light right there the rest of the lights are just like by the bed but that's the vibe it's giving a night vibe so uh, who knows might turn to a vampire what yeah what are you talking about that's what i'm saying i might have to use a light on my phone turn this up Anyways, babe is being depressing, but this just <coughs> I have brown moon boots. They can't and even, they are they so can't even cute. tell that it's brown and it's black. Okay, we need a flashlight, bro. <laughs> they have us in the middle of the dark right now, bro. <laughs> okay. Like we can't even see it, babe. Okay. So that's her outfit by the way. She looks a little bit like a uh what do you call them? The like a, a, pe a peacock. Excuse me. A peacock. And a um What's the big bird? What's that big bird? Babes. No, the big Duh. bird. It has a black bottom with the white long neck. Ostrich. Okay. Yes. Nice. This is the back of the ostrich. Y'all see the... All that's right. what the ostrich we do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she looked like she got a donk, but donk, donk, donk. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Crazy, right? So we actually vacuum sealed all our winter stuff <laughs> to fit, right? And now that we opened it, how is it gonna get back in the suitcase? We gotta ask the people downstairs if they have a vacuum to seal the bags, right? So I asked them, I'm like, hey, by any chance you guys have a vacuum? You know what they told me? No. <laughs> so how the hell are we gonna get the clothes back in the bag? How are we gonna get clothes back in the bag? Honestly, I don't think that we are. I think that this trip has proven to us that we need to struggle to survive. So that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. That's beyond struggling. We can't even get home. <laughs> <laughs> our stuff, we, what are we gonna do with all our stuff? Right. So, anyways guys, we're about to go take some couple photos. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, we guys, we have on that white fit right now. Yeah, man. You have to decide, babe, this hat, puppy ears, or this hat. Jeez, y'all, what do you think I should wear? Puppy dog ears? Or should I wear this one? All right, so this is the first hat. Mm -hmm. Put that on. Because I'm going to wear this one. This fluffy thing here. <laughs> How you look, man? <laughs> yeah, this is wild. <laughs> looking like a freaking... Looking like one of those dogs that be... 
on the sleighs. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are your gloves. He was making fun of me because they have little teddy bears on them. But I think that they're so cute. Bro, they're so be. Don't bro. be a hater, babe. It is what it is. I definitely can't wear this one. Where's the next hat? You're not gonna wear that one? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. This is this is wild. Okay. This is OD. Okay. Here's the next one. Messed up my hair. Yeah. Better? This is more like it. Okay. This is more the vibe, you know what I'm saying? The other one is giving Lico Child this still. I can't even lie. Like, I might rock it eventually, but for now, I'm gonna put this one on the shelf. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a winter is. wonderland. Winter wonderland. Winter babies. So nice Can you just bring your gloves, babe? Yeah. Okay. So, which way do you want to take this picture? That's a great question. That way, up there. Maybe we should go up there. Okay. It's snowing too. Let's go. See how these pictures turn out. This is my outfit of the day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> God damn. Guys, it's crazy because like I'm not even cold. <laughs> Toronto, it's snowy and cold here. I feel like because you have the mountains, it's blocking all of the wind from coming. You could probably hear me clearly right now. Like in Toronto, we have to use a mic. Nah, facts. Like it's crazy, and the, the trees are lined with snow. This is a literal winter wonderland. Like what? <laughs> what? All right, y'all. It's late night right now. We walking in the cold. I'm like super hungry. Like I've never been so hungry and all I want is like a coffee right now. Just something hot, a tea, a coffee, some, a frap, yo, a latte. Uh, so we're walking all the way from our room to a little cilantro. See, we were calling it, we we're trying to call for a ride, but nobody was answering. So we had to end up walking. How you doing? How far is uh, the dinner place, do you know? Um, just go down and it's yeah, on you can go down this way, follow the road, or go down that way and go down steps. Which way it's is faster? About 200 meters. Okay. This way, 200 meters? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 200 meters, and we're going to be at our dinner destination. Yeah. So. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yo, what do you guys like to eat when you're on vacation? Do you like to, like, go all out? Do you just not worry about any diet or nothing? Do you just splurge? Yeah. Right. Or... You eat smart. What are you, what are you saying? Man, for me, I'm on vacation, so I'm trying to just enjoy, have fun. You know what I mean? But are we really on a vacation, though, since we're still in Canada? I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she is technically right. It's not really a vacay, vacay. Actually, it's a staycation. It's a staycation? Yeah. So, guys, this is the roads that we're walking down right now. I don't even know. She said only two. She said 200 meters. Mm -hmm. But this is. Is it? What if it's there? Oh, maybe. That wouldn't make sense. But then she would have said it's right there. Right. 200 meters is probably down here. Or, but this doesn't look like. I don't know, bro. What if she sent us to our death? Yo, could be. Might be some sinister thoughts. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's it over here? here. Let's see what this sign says. Oh. Yeah, cabins. Yo, what the? F Are we lost? Yeah. Bro, it's dark as hell. We can't be. We can't be lost in the dark. We can't be lost. We can't be playing around right now. In this type of nighttime. So what if it was that? Just while it has to be that, babe. 200 meters? All right, let's go back. Hold on, let's just see. This is a cabin. You can walk up this way and see that. Yeah. It's so dark, I have to have my flashlight out right now. I actually don't even know how to get back because the cabins here say 23, 24, and we're 23, uh, we're 24, but not on this side. Not on this side. Yeah. This is madness. All right, guys. We're back to where we started. We literally did a 360. What? Man, this is crazy. 
So we did a 360. Oh. <laughs> I can't find it. Do you want me to drive you down in the gator? So how far down? Is it to the right or to the left? So you go down here and go across the road and down more steps and then left slightly and you'll be able to see it just before the bridge. Oh, so, so that's why. But when we, we went down, down we, we stopped at cabins. There was cabins there. They're like cabins if you keep going straight. No? <laughs> I guess we'll just take the ride. <laughs> Let's just take the ride. So guys, where she, where they were sending us? Ain't no way we would have found that. Yeah. Down those hill, what she was talking about? Yeah, the stairs coming down the hill. Yeah. It's too dark for that. The hell and dark. So we're about to go into dinner right now. Yeah. <laughs> Fire, she almost got the paper in the fire. It's a nice little vibe in here, guys. restaurant but I'll say it now <laughs> I ordered raw fish by accident um I was thinking it would be grilled fish but it definitely wasn't I do not eat raw fish unfortunately and so I tried to get it off the bill because I had already ordered it and I wasn't going to eat it at all whatsoever and I could not get it off the bill unfortunately so I ended up eating the bread with some spread um, it was like herb butter and then red onion spread. I did not touch the red onion. I don't mess with those, but <laughs> I ate the butter. It was okay, but I'm still starving. I am like hungry. My issue is that I want to do all these activities and do these things and then not worry about the food. I should have looked into the food before coming here. And I didn't do that. I usually don't do that when I go on trips, which is a huge mistake because that's like the most important thing. You have to fill your belly. And babe is just looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm just wondering, yo, look. Yo, if I move this light, you guys, if you look forward, look forward, you can't see anything. What if we see a moose or something? Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta use the flashlight. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is scary. Aren't we supposed to go up the stairs here? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mad. It's a mad house. What if something pops up on us? <laughs> then it's a, our last days. Like a freaking cougar or a moose or something. Mm. What's up, yeah? We back again. Yeah, we man. here. It's late night right now. It's not really late night. It's about five o'clock, five thirty. Let me see. Let me see the exact time. It's getting dark. Seven. It's five fifty-eight. Five fifty-eight. Yeah. It's about to get dark here. Mm -hmm. Um. And we're hungry. We're hungry right now. You know? So what we actually have to do is wait here by the lodge for someone to pick us up to go bring us down to our car because it's about a five minute drive. Mm -hmm. um, so none of the guest cars are actually in here in the lodge area. Yeah, they're down at the bottom of the hill basically. Right. But guys, basically the food that they have here, mm -hmm. unfortunately, it's not for us, all right? And, and basically because they closed down their other two restaurants, so there's only one open. And unfortunately, that one that's open is not for us. It's not for us, but yeah. it's, but honestly, like we haven't ate nothing today. It's 5.38 <laughs> and we ate nothing because... 5.38, babe. What did you say? 5.59 now. 5.59, sorry. So we ate nothing because when we went over there, they're serving the same menu as yesterday for lunch, for breakfast. Everything is the same. And you guys know I made sense. the mistake of... Um, getting that uh, raw fish yeah so can't do that again so we're about to head down mm -hmm. and grab our car and see if we can go grab something to eat and bring back some food so that yeah. we're set yeah how you doing yes a vehicle there it's out of order oh. uh, so we're just picking all the stuff up at the bottom of the stairs there. She's waiting for you guys. Oh, over okay. there. Okay. Gotcha. No worries. Yeah. 
happened to happen. <laughs> Unlucky. We are on our way. I feel like I'm in Narnia. <laughs> like, you know that movie where they walk through yeah. the closet door yeah. and they enter? And it's all it's white. Winter Wonderland. Yep. Yeah, man. I'm in Narnia for real. Yo, guys, crazy story, right? So we're walking up the hill because we, we were taking pictures. Yeah. And we're like, yo, it's getting a little bit slippery, right? <laughs> and then on our way back down after we finished pictures, Kristen was like, yo, I hope that I don't fall. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she said that, literally I went back. <laughs> I almost pulled my damn groin out. <laughs> His legs were moving left and right. I'm like, yo, babe, slow down. <laughs> like, I've never seen you move this fast. <laughs> Bro, it's slippery, look. This is all like slippery. Mm -hmm. This is no joke. That's what you get when you want to come to a winter wonderland. <laughs> but what should we eat? I feel like pizza. Sure. We're gonna need that box to come back to save us for the night. Literally. And then some next though. I have no idea. Hello. How you doing? It's you. That's yes. fine. You going enough. to the overnight parking? Yes. yes. Alright, cool. Sorry I had to make you walk down. No, no, that's I can't. fine. There's an issue with one of the vehicles and we can't get past 720, so. Ah. That's fine. Okay. And so we can drive in this up and down. <laughs> this beautiful mini Tesla. You right? Yes. <laughs> Damn, Moselle. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. Babe, you have the car keys, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there you go, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> Man's knees is busted right now, fam. Get him it. Yo! Ah, stuck. EV shuttle down the hill. You, man. So now we go into our car. We're gonna get some food. You don't even understand how hungry I am right now, bro. <laughs> what did we eat today? Fruits? We literally had like three fruits, bro. Yeah. Oh, there's one there. There's a gas station in Lake. There's okay. a gas station like everywhere. Everywhere? And okay. Yeah, like food is gonna be like bam. All the way over there. Okay. Alright. Thank you, boss. Bro. Thank you. So basically, we're cooked. There's no food anywhere in sight. The only food that we can get to is an hour away. That's crazy. In a whole different... It's in Banff. Yeah. We're yeah. in BC. Yeah. So we got to drive all the way to Banff, which is in Alberta, just to get some food. Damn. Brief. Bro, we're done. No, really, what are we going to do? We're done for. We have to go to the gas station and get some chips, get some protein bars. No way. So we can't have a meal? No. We have to come back here and eat fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh f this is crazy so he said lake louise is like our best bet our best bet for real so lake louise is what like that's too far 30 minutes 45 minutes so why are we even leaving we're gonna go to the gas station and see what we can find yeah if it's open the man said the hours are questionable. It might be set at seven, so we have a little bit of time. Okay. We have to get, we have to get there quickly. <laughs> the fact that we're in the middle of nowhere is what's killing me right now. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> at any moment, we could hit a deer, a moose, a bear, something. <laughs> That's scary. Babe, you might want to drive a bit slower. I know this says 50, but I feel like we got to go 20. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> yeah. So this gas station is closed. Four o'clock, bro. Four o'clock, it closes. And I see some goodies in there, you know? Oh my he God. He did say it was questionable. Oh, what are you gonna do? I'm stranded, I'm hungry. Yeah, we're pretty much screwed right we're now. We're gonna have to go back. We're literally gonna have to eat fries and, yeah. and just literally stomach the raw fish. No. <laughs> no. Nah. <coughs> I'm gonna do my fries and my wine. Call it a day. That is so crazy. Really and bread. We're eating 
fries, wine, and bread. Yeah, our last meal. <laughs> <laughs> that Jesus meal. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, let's go do that. I guess unless you want to make the drive to Lake Louise. Bro, how far is that? Let me let me do that. Lake Louise. Are you crazy? This is all the way in Alberta, bro. Hmm. That is oh. I'm saying 21 minutes. Okay. But that's not bad. But what's over there? Right. I'm typing in food and I'm not seeing nothing. Well, my question is, if we needed gas right now, right? And we needed it from here. We couldn't get it? No. We'd be cooked. So you'd just be stranded? you just... Cooked. Okay. Crazy. I feel like I'm in the Arctic. <laughs> literally, bro. We're literally... In the middle of nowhere, Kristen. Mm -hmm. You brought us to the middle of nowhere. Okay, well, how much gas do we have right now? We have enough gas. Are you sure to yeah, make it to Lake Louise and back? We're all we're good. Gas is less. Okay. Do I want to drive to Lake Louise and back? No, because once it gets too dark and we have to go up those roads, mm -hmm. those dark ass roads. I don't like going up dark ass roads right. with no lights. <sighs> so let's say so. Let's this is what we do. We bounce, go back. And we just, we hug it, bro. We gotta have the L. We gotta take the L. Fine. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So this was a waste of, um, just... It was a try. It's not a waste. It was a, it was a try. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was an was attempt at survival. It was, an attempt. it was an attempt. I'm gonna pull up over there, though, and see what they have up there. You said there's something about restaurant up there? I think. Or do you have to be staying there to get, to be able to even eat there? Oh, probably. Okay, you see this sign right here? Oh, it says field, lodging, and restaurants. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's maybe a restaurant up here? Let's see. Okay. So we just saw a sign that said danger, private property. So we're just going to turn back. Um, it's right there. Yeah. Danger. Listen, man. You gotta be safe, bro. No sugar coated. You gotta be safe, blood. So, whatever that is, I'm not going on no private property, nowhere. I don't know where I am. I'm in Alberta, bro. I'm in BC. I don't know. So, we're gonna head back. And, and I mean, this is a day that we can literally fast. We can literally fast. <laughs> Bye. We can fast. Bye. <laughs> Please, let's just get back and eat our fries. <laughs> All right, y'all, after almost getting lost, driving through the darkest roads, finding no food, and being unsuccessful. Watch your step. Watch your step. We are now headed back to the restaurant, and we are going to try to get some food. So basically, it's looking like a fries and bread night. <laughs> Right? It's funny because I dressed up looking all fancy and we're going to get fries and bread. Like what? <laughs> I'm going to see if they can make like some sort of pasta, you know? Yeah. Just like regular, normal. Yeah, just like a penne. With, um, just like a regular sauce. penne with tomato sauce, bruh. Yeah. You feel me? And uh, salt and pepper. That'll do. That will do. Mm -hmm. That will do. That's all I need. I ain't trying to be no picky. That with some fries and we Gucci. We so good at that point. And add some bread on top of that. <laughs> with some butter. Let's go. Yeah, you feel me? Yo, it's so dark. Without the flashlight, we can't see shit, guys. It's like an adventure, low key. Adventures with Christian Reef. <laughs> Yeah, so. I don't think about it, make it feel so, so hard.